Hello everyone and welcome back to Flight Sim 2020. The Flying Iron Sim Spitfire Mark 9 was recently updated to update 1.2.0. It is a major update with lots of changes and so I'm going to see whether I can fly it basically. Uh, so I'll just go through the list of some of their fixes. High fidelity engine simulation tuned in cooperation with an active Mark 9 pilot. Uh, we are by the way here at Duxford so presumably there are some uh, active Mark 9 pilots here. Uh, solid fuel quality rounding error in flight sim fuel screen. Adjusted empty CG to prevent out of CG error. Uh, there's a bunch of stuff that I won't necessarily mention. I'll just go with the main major systems fixes. Uh, brake lever animation. Brake pressure needles much more responsive. Fixed fuel pump issue. Um, refined various cameras. Ex improved exterior HUD not too important to us, but set up detailed electrical system, improved the fuel pressure system, added volts to tablet live data, and it should be noted that there is a tablet that you can get if you flick that little thing there. And it's got all the checklists, it's got the V speeds, a whole bunch of live data on the plane, uh, stats uh, to see how things went, the loadout, and so well, I think we've got all full fueled up so there's an autopilot if you want it I don't uh, I hope it's it is off it says it's off and then a bunch of other settings and there's a GPS toggle but you don't have to I think yeah we can stow tablet like that you can toggle the GPS and uh, put the gun sight up like that so we've got that option and so yeah uh, improved startup simulation, which we're not going through this time. I'm just going to take it on a sort of normal flight here. And implemented uh, supercharger gears and made various refinements to the supercharger. Changed boost button variable. Uh, added a bunch of stuff to the GPS. D improved dynamic engine stresses. Added more informative mouse over tips. Yes, they have been informative so far. Um, Added engine backfiring at low manifold pressure and high RPM, so make note of that. Greatly improved the thermal dynamics model, taking into account things such as gear disrupting radiator airflow and the flaps blocking it entirely. Added common power settings to the checklist, fixed uh, RPM stress algorithm on the flight model, high fidelity flight model, uh, attuned in cooperation with the active pilot. Added modern prop physics. Uh, reduced brake power to ease nose dipping, uh, corrected differential brake value, increased prop efficiency at idle to match real world Spitfire, minor corrections to wheel contact points, which will probably change the way we take off and land, uh, increased flap deployment dip, Ugh. increased adverse yaw, I don't really want the adverse yaw, uh, treat flap and gear drag, tune parasitic drag, added custom prop disc braking and added compensation for SU-9 wind issues. So I don't know, they might have to add another update if those wind issues change. Uh, but anyway, we'll see what we've got so far. So we're locking that door. It starts without that locked and you can't close the canopy until you get that locked. Now the first time I tried it after updating, I flopped onto the nose. And so it seems like it needs a little bit of uh, pull up while we accelerate on the runway in order to avoid that. That's worth noting. Uh, there is the rudder trim there, uh, but I, I didn't seem to need to use it. There, there was a bit of a, there wasn't a bad yaw when I tried it out. There was actually more of a roll to the left. And so I'll try and compensate for that, but it's tough to really plan for that. A, a little bit of rudder could help that too. But yeah, maybe, I actually don't know exactly. It's starboard. Do I want it starboard or port? I guess I want it starboard a bit to counter that, but we'll see. I don't know how much I want. So releasing brakes. Let's see if we can get off the ground safely. So yeah, it, dip, it dips pretty strongly to the nose. And see, it's trying to roll left, but it's less than before. Maybe that's a good rudder setting. That was pretty good. So we're here at Dugsford. And that's a nice gear sound. Uh, with the canopy open, there's strong wind sounds. Ooh, it dipped a lot there. Let me try and fly around Dugsford a bit. If I can. I don't have the HUD inf instruments up though. 
I do have my track IR available. So we can look around. I wanted to take off of the grass runway, but I guess it decided not to let me do that. Now well, let's cut the RPM a bit. And I'll stick to four on the boost. I do want to get around quickly, but safely. I don't know if it's going to be safe, but... I won't use the track IR all the way or anything, it's just looking around here. Okay, proceeding. Somewhat dreary looking day around here. And we're getting tossed about a bit by the winds. We're headed to London first and then we're going to head down to Dover across the English Channel to Calais. We're just going that way this time. Well, nice view. Gotta try and descend a bit so we get a better look at London. Okay, well, forgive me, I forget which stadium that is over there, but we're flying over it. I should probably get a map out. Let's see if it's on this map here. Eh, I mean, I'm not impressed anyway. Tottenham probably has something to do with Tottenham. I don't know if I should keep the map up or not, whether that's helpful. Maybe. We're heading to the west side and then swinging towards the east. Let me see that stadium though. That one looks better. I like this one more, more detail. That's an interesting place, that cylindrical place. Hello, Big Ben. Okay, we're gonna take a U-turn and come back around. I want to increase the sensitivity of the track IR for this a little bit more. I tuned it down because I didn't think it was a good idea to have it too sensitive, but... Okay, along the Thames. choppy there. Hello. Sorry, my head movements may not be to everybody's liking here. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna be over the Tower of London, aren't I? Shoot. Let's go outside. Uh, okay, uh, let me stop the track IR for a sec. And it's back there. We didn't really get a good look at the shard either, but we really ought to get going here. Business district.
And this is with the Orbix London scenery as well. So a mix of the photogrammetry and the Orbix scenery. That little enclave is interesting, huh? Uh, London City Airport over there. I totally missed the Millennium Dome though. But uh, yeah, uh, somewhat different flyby of London than I've done before. Just with the track IR being what it is. And we continue on. On to Dover. Actually, I think we've got some sights along the way. Uh, Canterbury Cathedral, I think. Let's see, uh, Archbishop's Palace Maidstone, and then Canterbury Cathedral, and then the Cliffs of Dover. So, let us proceed. Do you see an Archbishop's Palace anywhere? I guess we'll have to swoop in a little bit lower to see. Uh, okay. Um, gosh. Oh, there it is. <laughs> okay. Uh, I just saw a, a tower there. Oh, there. Uh, yeah. You can barely tell it's to our right there. Not, not the most striking monument I've ever seen. All right. Let's just move on to Canterbury Cathedral. Okay, let's see if I can spot Canterbury Cathedral. Uh, my guess is that I'm not going to... Oh, there it is. All right. Oh, oh, it removed the textures. Oh no, why? It was looking good just a second ago. Why remove the textures? That's not right. Everything else has textures. And now it's showing the textures. Why did it remove the textures just when we were flying by? Hmm? Maybe it's got an LOD problem. And the, low, uh, the best LOD which you get when you get close to it. Uh, didn't load properly. Oh, uh, I'm way too high. Ah, uh, it still doesn't have the textures. Great. We were right above it, but... Yeah, I didn't load the textures. The close-in textures. Let's see. See, that level of detail, it loads. But once you get close in, it skips loading them. Okay. On to the Cliffs of Dover. Well, this is looking quite nice right now. Okay, so should be Dover around here somewhere. Obviously the port. And there are the cliffs. Seems like a particular building up there. Uh, I didn't see a little point of interest marker for it. Maybe I just missed it because they were so close to it was so close to the cliffs of Dover here. Very interesting. Okay, on to France. I wanted as little of the channel as possible, <laughs> so that's why we were crossing here. Next actual site is Canadian National Vimy Memorial. Once again, use the in game map to see exactly where it's placed this. Always off of our path. Uh, sort of cuts corners, you see. Oh, there's a church there. You can see that.
Oh, maybe it's that tower there. Yep. Well, Canadian National Vimy Memorial. We have visited you. Oh, 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 okay. We need that was that was probably the backfiring when we were at too low a manifold pressure at too high an RPM right there. Because I had thrallled down to see the site, but I had left the RPM the same. Well, good thing we tested that. <laughs> and we are headed on to uh, Amiens Cathedral and then Paris. Okay, this time I'm pulling down both the manifold pressure and the RPM. And let's see, where is this cathedral here? Oh, it's right there. Oh, we should have good diving speed, right? So, I'm in cathedral. We have visited it as such. I'm not gonna linger around. It's been a fairly long flight. We are going to head over to Paris and see what we can see there. I am sure there is improved scenery for some of this hanging around somewhere. I wonder if we can fly through that building. Oh, these don't look too bad though. Up close. The LODs are irritating me today. They're like snapping into place fairly late. And in the case of Canterbury Cathedral, not at all. Well, there's the Eiffel Tower. Actually, uh, pretty well camouflaged at the moment. <laughs> Might miss it. Oh, well, let's visit the Arc de Triomphe first. Okay. Uh, can we make a sharp turn here? Alright, Eiffel Tower. That crane probably shouldn't be there. <laughs> I don't know, maybe, maybe not, but very nice palace here. Cathedral. Um Whereabouts is Notre Dame anyway? Uh, I know it's an island. Oh, oh, there it is. Well, we've certainly seen the most important sites here. They're probably endless ones, but we'll head into the airport now. After all, the most interesting question is whether I can land this. A okay, gear down. Oh, we need to adjust our rudder. Flaps. Which are basically air brakes with this. Okay. Here we go. How many bounces will I do this time? Oh, uh, oh, no, I bounced. Did I bounce? Yeah, I did. Okay. Oh, oh, it's tilting. I, I, I think I'm on the grass. <laughs> uh, at least I can see runway on both sides, so usually a bad sign. Okay, uh, I'm back on the runway. 
Wow, we're still going fast, too. Well, I used uh, all of it, and I used all of it, but we I didn't kill myself, so... Okay, uh, alright, we are here at Paris. It has been a successful flight. Ah, uh, okay, don't do that. Ah, no! Oh, no! I did the bad thing right at the end with the brakes. The parking brake. I thought I was slow enough for the parking brake, but I wasn't. Okay. All right. Yeah. Great. Anyway, with that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.